everybody, Darren Hyme here, and I want to welcome you to the NRS Pay Insider C Store podcast. And what does that do? We have the opportunity to really take you behind the scenes. We want to let people know uh, exactly how things are working, what you can expect. We want to give you tools and resources uh, to make your business more effective. Then at the same time, what we also do is we you know, get the questions answered, things that you may not be, that you may be thinking of, and maybe some things that you're not thinking of, we're able to actually facilitate some conversation and some dis discussion. So that way, uh, moving your business and having your business, it can become more effective and more and uh, more productive. And so we're glad that you can be with us. Stay with us because every show that we have, uh, we continue to bring you some great insider information. That's why we're the inside podcast right so listen i want to introduce you to a very special guest who's going to be sharing with us for a little while on this podcast and it's no uh, none other than diana stern and guess what diana is the uh, vice president of nrs marketing and she hangs out with uh, the marketing crew and she gives direction to the marketing crew and we are so glad to have diana sharing with us and diana i want to ask you how you doing today hey darren how are you it is an nrsc day here it's sunny, <laughs> beautiful outside. It's beautiful in here. And we're super busy here in our marketing department. It's beautiful to know that uh, it's an NRC day. Uh, and listen, I want to ask you about the marketing department because you are the vice president of marketing. Um, and so for somebody who doesn't know, just well, a little bit about you and your background and uh, how'd you get here? Okay, so I came to NRS about five years ago. Actually, it just, it just passed the five-year mark. Um, I joined the IDT family after running my own marketing agency for many years. Um, we had a number of developers, SEO specialists, graphic designers, and other professionals on my team. And we specialized in helping businesses get started from the ground up. Everything from choosing their name through launching at their location and their e-commerce and other needs. and. Um, a lot of that work was about identifying what works, what doesn't work, and um, doing more of that. <laughs> and additionally, um, I was also the director of advertising at a New Jersey newspaper publication. And I was a journalist with the New Jersey Press Association. For a number of years, I um, covered events and, and wrote editorials and contributed as a journalist. And a lot of my work was very much connected to the business independent retail community all throughout the years. Um, I would work very closely, most primarily with small and mid-sized businesses that really needed help and really needed assistance getting off the ground. And I'm very passionate about helping businesses grow one of the pain points that I saw as a common theme was that businesses don't have large budgets when they're first starting out, they really, they're scraping it. Maybe they took a loan, maybe they used their savings and um, they had a hard time, you know, getting getting things moving and working on a tight squeeze with the, with the money. So when I came into NRS department, I brought my passion for helping these businesses with me to help NRS help our customers who are often very much, um, they're very tight with money. They, they, they come, you know, they're building a business. They are opening a store. They've got expenses in the store. They need to pay employees. Every dollar is, is critical, especially for the businesses we service. Right. And my, my work with these businesses in the past um, worked very well with now what NRS's mission is, which is to help independent retailers survive and thrive and succeed and these brick and mortar stores that we we provide POS and various services to um, really need our help. And I take my work here very seriously and our team do our best to help this particular market. Yeah, well, tell me a little bit about it because you have a team that works with you and uh, give us a little bit about the team and uh, the makeup and the structure. Okay, so when I first came in, Again, five years ago, we were a lot smaller. Um, at that time, we were working primarily with the point of sale system. NRSplus.com was our primary website. And slowly, slowly, 
our, our company grew and our offerings expanded to NRS pay, credit card processing, NRS funding, et cetera. I'll get into that a little more in a little while, but to answer your question, so our team has grown. We have a very nice sized team located in both the US and Europe. We've got web developers, graphic designers, SEO and SEM specialists, social media marketing gurus, content writers, and, and you know, we all pitch in, we all bring our skills to the table and more. And um, most primarily, we're all connected with the same goal of, of really helping our company, helping our sales teams sell to the customers that we serve to help our customers ultimately. Yeah. You talk about being uh, all over the world. I mean, Europe, that's pretty big, right? And that's pretty large. And you got the United States. How are you able to, you know, get your routine going so that way you can be able to service all these people at the same time? So to begin with, to begin with, um, well, IDT, our parent company, has always been an international company with offices all around the world. And we're all connected with a headquarters in Newark, New Jersey. Um, currently, NRS, the subdivision of IDT, um, we have offices as well all over the country, U.S., all over the world. Um, my team are USA-based and in Europe. We do our meetings by by uh, mostly Google Meet, but occasionally Zoom and, and um, net to phone huddle. Um, we have regular meetings. We work on various, um, our daily routine is we're working on various websites that we're operating and managing NRS plus, NRS pay, Dot com, nrsplus.com, nrspay.com. Uh, we have a funding cash advance division. We have a petro division for uh, a POS for gas stations and EMV compliance for the gas pumps. We're promoting EWIC and EBT. And we have uh, a whole e-commerce division that has sprouted with various e-commerce opportunities. So we have, um, we have our, our work our work is is always we have a lot of work there's no right. end to the because there's no end to what nrs is providing and offering every single day i'm not i'm not exaggerating every single day i find out about something new that's either been launched launching or coming coming really soon and our role in marketing is to prepare promotions we work on print and digital advertising email blasts and and direct mailers and adding new features to our various websites and preparing marketing materials for them, for the sales agents to be able to educate the store owners. And um, another piece of our marketing work is preparing resource materials and various um, how-to videos and, and, and anything that a merchant might want to know about they can find in campnrs.com, which is our training and resource site. So we have to make sure that that's updated as well with, with tutorial and materials to help, to help everybody along. There's actually a special section. Um, there's a section for merchants to be able to access anything they could possibly need to know in there, as well as for sales agents and distributors who are helping us with promoting our products. Tell me about this idea concept, because, you know, when you're a marketer and you're working in marketing, we know that you say it's something new every day. You got to come up with something new or you find out about something new. What's it like for you in terms of coming up with ideas and how do you formulate those ideas? So, you know, how does that come about? I've always been intrigued. The idea process, the creative process. So one of my greatest one of my greatest challenges, which is also my asset is that I can't shut off my marketing work for NRS like ever in my brain, ever. <laughs> so I literally like, I'll wake up in the middle of the night with an idea <laughs> or on a weekend when I should be, you know, completely chillaxed and shut off from the world. That's when the ideas are flowing in. That's when I'm jotting down notes for Monday morning when I have my team meeting. But I really need to give credit to my team because we're really, we really are a team and we all have ideas we contribute. We brainstorm regularly and mostly we ask ourselves, and I think this is really big in marketing, being able to put yourself in the feet of the customer, being able to think if I'm, if I'm the retailer, if I'm 
if I've got a grocery convenience or tobacco or a busy liquor store, what do I need for, for, um, to make my store better? What is it that I, that I, um, you know, what is it that if I was a retailer, I would most want and need? And we try to put ourselves into their shoes. And at least we see our retailer customers as partners um, to the business, not necessarily just customers. And, you know, how can we make their life better? Now, it happens to be that um, we have the world's most creative CEO. And I, I say this, I say this like, you know, L E Y Katz, he he blows us away with his ideas. He he'll he'll shoot me texts and emails. He knows I'm reachable any time of the day and night. I get the best um the best suggestions right from our leader. <laughs> so mm -hmm. Ellie's an entrepreneur, he's a business owner himself, and he's 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 the founder of our company and continues to be just a fantastic leader and mentor for us. Um, he encourages us to think outside of the box, no pun intended, you know, right. <laughs> we're dealing with the retail world, but he really, he gives us, and he gives us the ideas, but then we, he lets us run with it. So on our side, we run with it and we make it happen. That's awesome. Uh, I want to ask the question about insiders want to know, insider question here, who is Paco Puma? So Paco Puma, Paco Puma is our mascot, is the National Retail Solutions mascot. He's a purple Puma. He was born in 2017 and he represents our company. And we picked the Puma because I don't know if, if you're familiar with the you know, animal kingdom, but Puma, yeah. is, they're, they're very, very strong and they're very fast. And we felt that 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 animal would best represent our core offering, which is the point of sale system. And um, the POS that we have, the, the NRS POS is, is very durable, very robust hardware. And the software is speedy and powerful. So Paco definitely best represents our company. And actually, I don't know if you can see my hat, but I've got the Paco hat on, I've got the Paco pin on my, on my badge lanyard um, and and oh, I almost forgot to show you this one. I got this is Paco. Get out. <laughs> so let wait, me ask you wait, 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 one more wait, thing wait, about when you wear the hat, is it a conversation starter for people? Oh yeah. Yeah. I get asked all the time who is that guy and where can I get him? Where can I get that hat? <laughs> oh, okay. I tell you about Mariano Rivera because that's part of this. So I don't know if you can see, but Mariano Rivera's autograph is on Paco's belly over here. Mm -hmm. Mariano Rivera is the spokesperson for NRS Pay. He's a baseball legend. And when he personally visited our headquarters, he, we have some commercials we filmed with him at, at a local C store in Newark. But also when, when he visited our headquarters, I ran over to him with Paco. I was like, you gotta sign my Paco. <laughs> so <laughs> sorry, I have a very you know unique Paco Puma here, but you can actually buy all of this paraphernalia. You can get the hats, you can get the Pacos, you can get Paco items at nrsmarket.com, which is one of our websites. So listen, um, talk, talk to me about somebody who might be out there with a business um, and, they want to be like you in terms of being successful. What would you give as some tools of the trade for somebody that may be watching and say, listen, you know, I want to take my business to the next level. I've got the marketing uh, down pat, but I'm just not quite getting there. What would you tell her? Okay. So I have, two, I could recommend two things. I'll start with one and then we'll take it to the next. So consistent visibility is really important. I've told this to my clients over the years and we apply that here at NRS. It's, it's proven that good marketing works. But one of the mistakes that business owners make that, that is, and is again, connects to the sore point I mentioned about earlier, that they don't have a large budget and they, they might blow their whole budget out advertising when they first launch and they don't realize that they need to like pace themselves. 
So I always recommend, I've always recommended to my clients and I always recommend it when, we, when we're determining where we're advertising. And I would recommend the same to any business owner to, to advertise in a few different places. Don't go consistently week to week to week in the same place, but do something here, something here, something here, so that the customers, potential customers, think they saw you everywhere, but in reality, all the time. They because the mind does, you know, we, they don't realize that that actually they're seeing you in a few places, and that's why they think they keep seeing you. But I always love when, over the years, even when before when I had my own firm and I advertised for myself, where people would say, "Oh yeah, I see your, I see you all the time," and I would laugh because, I mean, I I would say, "Thank you, yes, well, I'm everywhere." <laughs> <But> <laughs> But I would actually say, you know, yeah, there's there's actually a, there really is a technique to this of of, you know, of being visible in various places. And we as a company, we want to help our retailers succeed with their marketing. And so we've created part of our offerings to help them market to their customers, to the patrons of the stores. So, for example, I'll give you a few examples. The NRS POS has a customer facing screen. So the retailer can actually upload their own ads to their customer facing screen. And depending on which POS package software package you have, you can either run one or three ads included in your package. So you go onto your merchant portal, you upload your own graphics and you could have your own promotions running on your own screen. That's one example. Um, another way like, like um, with our POS system, we have a program for our customers called Find My Biz, which most recently launched and it's a listings service so that a small independent retailer could be listed online and be found in top rankings on various search engines, or they can add their, they can be added to the directory, for example, for Waze. So if somebody wants to find um, uh, Vanessa's Bodega, they can enter Vanessa's Bodega on Waze and Waze would actually know the address without you even having to enter it. So we have this program, Find My Biz, that is, is, is helping retailers be seen, be visible online, which is where it's at these days, and be found. So those are just like two examples of, um, of what we're doing for our customers. But to get onto the second, second marketing secret, because I don't want to use up all my time on the first one. Mm -hmm. um, so I really believe that marketing in, and sales are very similar. So with marketing and sales too, you've got to identify what is it that your customers need and want and what is it that they're hungry for and provide the solutions so whether you're doing marketing whether you're doing sales whether you own a business of any kind or service provider your service provider knowing knowing what your customers need and providing the solution is key and actually that's why we chose the name national retail solutions because mm -hmm. we we are not just a point of sale system we're also NRS pay payment acceptance, credit card processing. We're also EBT unlimited. We're also, um, you know, fund NRS funding for, for cash advances for businesses that need money. We're providing solutions. And bottom line is that retailers want, we know, we know our customers, the retailers want to grow their business, want to make more money. And we know that they need the tools and the technology to do it. Yeah. And and we're providing them that. And I believe that that's why and I'm just going to brag a little bit. That's why when I started five years and at that time, it was a big number. We're now at 20,000 plus POS wow. nationwide. And that's just those are just POS systems. That's not even factoring in like thousands of NRS pay credit card processing accounts and and millions of dollars in funding. And we are we are expanding the business in every direction. I really believe it's because, because we're, we're empathetic. We feel for our customers. We take our mission really seriously and we're really passionate about our work. I know that for sure you are a marketer because you've got that passion. You've got that, you, all you have to do is just listen to you for a minute and you can be able to hear uh, the passion that you have. And so I want to thank you for sharing some tips. Huh? <laughs> 
it's keeping me wide awake on weekends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, listen, thank you for, for what you're doing. I uh, want to thank you for sharing some tips and letting people know uh, a little bit about the work that goes on in the marketing department. And uh, Diana, sir, thank you so much for being with us uh, and share with us here on the NRS C Store Insider Podcast. I'm Darren Hyman. We got, listen, we're out of time. Got to cut it there. Uh, but make sure you tune in. Watch our YouTube channel. Got a variety of different things to help your business become more effective, uh, more successful, and what you need to know in a time such as this. So we'll check you on the next one. I'll see you Thank soon. You. Thanks, Take Darren. Care. Bye. All right. Hey, everybody, another NRSC Store Insider Podcast. I'm Darren Jaime, your host, and I'm glad every time that I have the opportunity to do this because what it gives me the opportunity to do is connect you with people who are really making a difference. And uh, at the NRS family, there's so much that's going on. Uh, we want to make sure that you're getting the tools that you need, the resources, uh, and connecting you. If you have any questions, that's what this podcast is really about. It kind of gives you some answers to some questions. Uh, it gives you some opportunity to hear from those on the inside to let you know what's going on. Um, so that way you can get the things that are equip your business uh, to be more effective, to be more productive. And um, when it comes to marketing, I want to talk about that today because uh, marketing is something that every business needs. You need it in order to be successful. Um, no business just makes it on their own. Marketing is key. It's critical. Please to have none other than Diana Stern, who is the vice president of NRS Marketing, and she joins us here now. And uh, listen, Diana, how are you doing? <laughs>